Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic Boom merchandise review video. Today I'm going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Dr. Eggman with Ripcord Eggmobile. Okay, this is one of the many new lines of Sonic merchandise that's going to be released in terms of promotion for Sonic Boom, which is the new Sonic TV show and video game that will be released on the Wii U. There's a very uh, wide variation of figures and plushes that are going to be released over the upcoming months and they are all manufactured by Tomy, which is the company you see on the bottom here which I'm really happy about because uh, Tomy released some really great uh, pieces of Sonic merchandise in the 90s. Okay, so moving in for a close look at the Doctor, we'll have a little once over of the box before we whip him out. At the bottom here it's saying Dr Eggman with Ripcord Eggmobile bit of advertisement there for Sonic Boom. Check out Sonic Boom video game and TV series. The manufacturer Tomy, as I've already said. Rip and launch. And a bit more here saying includes removable figure. You get a bit of a look of Dr. Eggman in the box there. Sonic Boom at the top. And on the back showing you what the figure is capable of. As it's saying, rip and launch. And the bottom here we have some of the other figures that are from this range. The uh, I believe they're called Rip and Launch range. As you can see we've got Sonic there and Knuckles. Collect them all. Okay, so let's get this guy out of the box. Okay, to speed it up I've already removed the sellotape that was around the box. So let's uh, open him up. Okay, now we can get a closer look of him in there. Let's uh, remove the Eggmobile first. It's a bit of uh, sellotape they've got around it. Yeah, they've got some. Uh, protection casing around the back. I'll just snip that off. And here we are. Okay, now that we've got the figure out of the box, we can move in for a closer look. We'll start out with the doctor himself. Let it focus there. As you can see, he's got that really cool menacing uh, look on his face. Uh, his arms do move up and down. Uh, his right uh, hand is in a grabbing position, as his left hand is in a pointing position. So you can have him in that sort of a cool pose like that. His legs also do move up and down, but there is no joints in his knees or elbows. Uh, on the bottom there, you've got uh, focusing on there. The Tomy and the Sega logos made in China. Yeah, and then we'll move on to his Eggmobile. Now, honestly, I think this is probably the um, the best part about this figure, actually, because the Eggmobile is actually really awesomely done, and it's actually pretty weighty for a, a part of a toy. Now, uh, as far as I'm aware, this is probably the most decent version of an Eggmobile I've ever seen because the only other versions I've seen for a Sonic toy are the uh, McDonald's and Burger King toys that were released in the 90s but this is uh, this is really awesome as you can see we've got these uh, devices in here that you would use to command it you've got this little uh, this nice little bit of plastic sticking up there that's where you'd uh, stick either of uh, the holes of the uh, bottom of the Eggman feet however position you want him in there as you can see, the figure does also stand up on its own without being in the need of uh, the Eggmobile. And it's uh, fully movable. You've got this wheel at the bottom here, and it will go along as it pleases. So, yeah, I think that looks... that is... that's really cool. Okay, now we have him in the Eggmobile. Now, this is where a slight problem did arise. Now, he'll stand in the Eggmobile, sure, no problem. However, he's not very snug in there. Uh, the piece of plastic that I showed you uh, at the bottom of the Eggmobile earlier that goes into uh, the part of Eggman's foot 
it's not very tight in fact it's very loose so the fact that this is a launching figure means the slightest jar or knock means he will most likely come flying straight out of there now to show you the other part that come with the toy this is the actual launcher and I'll show you where this goes in I'm actually going to remove Eggman for this part in case he just falls out of it and there's a slot part at the bottom here which goes right away through the Eggmobile and comes out the front what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this in with the, uh, the spiky part of the plastic there facing upwards that will go in like so right the way down and then you'll be able to get a uh, your hand behind this part of it here and then you'll pull it out quickly which will make the uh, the front wheel spin it'll go along like that so yeah in terms of height of the figure as I haven't covered that yet he is roughly about four and a half inches from the base of the Eggmobile up until the top of Eggman's head and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Um, he's a very nice looking figure and toy. However, it's just a shame that the actual uh, toy part of the figure it was designed for doesn't come through so well, being the shooting part. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. Will you be picking up any of the Sonic Boom merchandise at all? Appreciate any thumbs up and subscribes, guys. And I shall see you guys soon with another merchandise video review.